cleanse us of all that defiles us, and oh good one, save our souls. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy in us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy in us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy in us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy in us. Lord, forgive us our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, look upon us, and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. The name of the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King, and bow down before Him. Come, let us worship Christ God our King, and bow down before Him. Come, let us worship Christ our King, our God, and bow down before Him. Listen, O Lord, of my righteousness. Attend to my appeal. Give ear to my prayer that is not from deceitful lips. Let my judgment come forth from your face. Let my eyes behold what is right. You have proved my heart. You have watched me by night. You have tried me with fire and found in me no wrong. Have my mouth uttered not the misdeeds of men. Because of the words of your lips, I have vowed your repose. Establish my footsteps upon your paths. Let my footsteps stumble down. I have cried out to you, for you have heard me, O God. Lend me your ear and listen to my words. Display your love marvelously, O Savior of those who trust in you. From those who have risen against your power, protect me as they have love your eyes. Shelter me beneath the shelter of your wings, from the sight of the wicked who afflict me. These enemies of mine beset my soul, they enclose themselves in their path. Their mouths full of pride, they cast me out and surrounded me. They have eyes but to throw me to the ground. They watch me as a lion set to bounce, as a lion cub lurking in its den. Arise, O Lord, prevent them and overthrow them. Deliver my soul from wicked men. Rest your sword from the enemies of your power. O Lord, cut them off from the earth very soon while they are still alive. Their bellies were filled with your goods. They should be satisfied with sons. They have left the remains of their babes. As for me, I shall behold your face in righteousness and be satisfied with the vision of your glory. To you, O Lord, I have lifted up my soul. O my God, I have trusted in you. Let me not be put to shame forever. Let not my enemies laugh at me. Of all those who seek you, none will be shamed. Let shame befall the wanton transgressors. Make known to me your ways, O Lord. Show me your paths, guide me in your truth, and teach me. For you are my God and Savior, and I have waited for you all the day. Remember your tender mercies, O Lord, and your love that are from all ages. The sins of my youth and my failures remember not. Remember me in your love, O Lord, because of your kindness. Kind and true is the Lord. He will set the wayward aright. He will give good judgment to the meek. He will teach the meek his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth to those who seek his covenant and his revelation. For the sake of your name, O Lord, forgive also my sin, for it is great. Be there a man who fears the Lord. Him the Lord will teach in the way of chosen. <coughs> his soul shall dwell in prosperity, and his seed shall inherit the land. The Lord is the might of those who fear him, and he will reveal his covenant to them. My eyes are eyes upon the Lord, for he will loose my feet from the snare. Look upon me and have mercy on me, for I am lonely and destitute.
troubles of my heart have multiplied. Deliver me from my straits. Behold my afflictions and my pain, and forgive all my sin. Behold my enemies, they have grown in number, and have hated me with unfair hatred. Preserve my soul and deliver me, that I may not be shamed, for I trust in you. The blameless and the righteous stood with me, because I waited for you, O Lord. Deliver Israel, O Lord, of all his afflictions. O God, have mercy on me in the greatness of your love. In the abundance of your tender mercies, wipe off my offense. Wash me thoroughly from malice, and cleanse me from sin. For I am well aware of my malice, and my sin is before me always. It is you alone I have offended. I have done what is evil in your sight. Wherefore you are just in your deeds, and triumphant in your judgment. Behold, I was born in iniquities, and in sins my mother conceived me. But you are the lover of truth. You have shown me the depths and secrets of your wisdom. Wash me with this up and I shall be pure. Cleanse me and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear sounds of joy and feasting. The bones that were afflicted shall rejoice. Turn your face away from my offenses and wipe off all my sins. A spotless heart created me, O God. Renew a steadfast spirit in my breast. Cast me not afar from your face. Take not your blessed spirit out of me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and let your guiding spirit dwell in me. I will teach your ways to the sinners, and the wicked shall return to you. Deliver me from blood guilt, O God, my saving God, and my tongue will joyfully sing your justice. O Lord, you shall open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. Had you desired sacrifice, I would have offered it, but you will not be satisfied with whole burnt offerings. Sacrifice to God is a contrite spirit, a crushed and humbled heart God will not spurn. In your kindness, O Lord, be bountiful to Zion. May the walls of Jerusalem be restored. Then will you delight in just oblation and sacrifice and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer calves upon your altar. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. You destroyed death by your cross. You opened paradise to the thief. You changed the weeping of the myrrh bearers and commanded your apostles to proclaim that you, O Christ God, are risen, granting to the world great mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance, granting the faithful Christians victory over their enemies and guarding your commonwealth by your cross, both now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, you are the true vine maiden with the fruit of life. Wherefore, we implore you, O Lady, to intercede together with the apostles and all the saints that we may obtain mercy for our souls. Blessed is the Lord our God. Blessed is the Lord day by day. May the God of our salvation smooth our path. Our God is the God of salvation. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy in us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy in us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy in us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity, have mercy in us. Lord, forgive us our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions, Holy One, look upon us, and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, and the power of the Son. 
broken, the victory of Hades wiped out, and you, my Savior, have stood up and called out to all those bound in hell, Come now and take them into paradise. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. O you who at all times and places are worshipped and glorified, both in heaven and on earth, Christ God, long suffering, generous in mercy, and rich in compassion, loving to the just and merciful to the sinner, O you who call people to repentance, through the promise of blessings to come, deign, O Lord, at this very hour to perceive our supplications and to direct our lives in the way of your commandments. Sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, set our minds right, cleanse our thoughts, deliver us from any affliction, wrath, danger, and need. Surround us with your holy angels so that, guided and guarded in their care, we may reach the oneness of the faith and the knowledge of your unutterable glory. O you who are blessed forever and ever, amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption did give birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, you do magnify. Give the blessing, Father, in the name of the Lord. Our God, to whom the cross and bless us, may pour the light of his countenance to shine upon us and his mercy on us. Amen. O Master God, Almighty Father, only begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit, one God and one life, have mercy on us sinners, and save us, your unworthy servants, according to the ways of your wisdom. For you are blessed forever and ever. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King, and bow down before Him. Come, let us worship Christ, God, our King, and bow down before Him. Come, let us worship Christ, our King, and our God, and bow down before Him. Save me, O God, by Your name, and judge me by Your might. O God, hear my prayer, listen to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen against me, and powerful men have pursued my soul, instead of contemplating God. Behold, God is my helper, and the Lord is the sustainer of my soul. He will return evil upon my enemies. He will destroy them in his truth. With eager heart I will sacrifice to you. I will praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. For you have delivered me from all affliction, and my eyes have looked down upon my enemies. O Lord, listen to my prayer, and do not overlook my supplication. Give thee to me and answer me. I was grieved in my meditation. I trembled at the enemy's shouts and at the oppression of the wicked one. They brought down evil upon me and seized with anger against me. My heart was torn within me. The anguish of death befell me. Fear and trembling came upon me. And darkness covered me up. And I said, Who will give me wings like a dove? And I shall fly and I shall come to rest. Behold, I have fled to distant places, and have made the wilderness my home. I have waited for God to deliver me from faint-heartedness and windy storm. O Lord, from bound and defied their tongues, for I have seen evil and strife in the town. Day and night have worked upon its ramparts, inside their sin and trouble and injustice. You dream fraud and ever absent from its public squares. Had it been a foe who insulted me that I could have endured. Had he hated me, you stood up against me. From him I could have hidden. But you, a man of kindred soul, my guide, my close acquaintance, with whom I had in sweet companionship, and walked in harmony within God's house. May death come down upon them. May they fall into Hades alive. For he was within his lungs, and the fairness of them. As for me, I have appealed to God, and the Lord has served me. At dusk, on a new now, cry and fall. 
and she will hear my voice. She will deliver my son to me from those who came close to me, from the crowd that surrounded me. God, the best to be fall, ages for hear and humble them. Born down there is no repentance, for they have not feared God. They offer the sin and self-giving, but they broke away from his covenant. They were scattered by the anger of his face, and their hearts became shy. Their words were smoother than oil, but they themselves were dark. Grace to burn upon the Lord, and he himself will sustain you. You will never let the just be tossed around. But you will march the cross and down and put to the destruction. Men have run to seek the last of half the day. As for me, I will hope in you, O Lord. Jesus walks in the south of the most high, abides in the shadow of the God of heaven. He will say to the Lord, my wall, my refuge, my God, and whom I will trust. He it is who will save you from the unfair snare, and from the deadly pestilence. With his pinions he will overshadow you, and beneath his wings he shall rest his ear. As a shield of truth shall cover you, you cannot fear the terror of the night, nor dare that flies by day, nor the thing that breaks the blood in darkness, nor the pestilence of demon of the noon. So a thousand may be born at your side, and ten thousand at your right. No harm will come to you, but you with your eyes shall serve, and see the retribution of the wicked. Because you have said, O Lord, you are my hope, and you have taken the most eyes your refuge. No evil shall come close to you, nor shall any spirit approach your dwelling. For he will command angels to watch over all your ways. In their hands they shall carry you. Lest you stumble with your foot against the stone. Upon the ass and the bite you shall tread. The lion and the dragon you shall trample. Because he trusts me, I will save him. I will protect him for you by name. He will call me and I will answer him. I am with him at the time of distress. I will deliver him and give him glory. What length of days I will feed him. And my salvation I will let him see. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. You destroyed death by your death. By your cross, you opened paradise to the thief. You changed the weeping of the myrrh bearers and commanded your apostles to proclaim that you, O Christ, God, have risen, granting to the world great mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance, granting to faithful Christians victory over their enemies and guarding your commonwealth by your cross both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Since we have known in whom to confide, because of our many sins, O Virgin Theotokos, intercede for us with the one who is born of you, for our mother's prayers of powerful means, for obtaining the pastor's favor. O you who are most worthy of veneration, do not turn away from the pleading of us sinners, for the one who will to suffer in the flesh for our sake is full of mercy, and his power is sufficient to save us. Let your bounty, the Lord, come down upon us in haste, for our need has become great indeed. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the glory of your name. Save us, O Master, and forgive us our sins, for the sake of your name. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy in us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy in us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy in us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy in us. Lord, forgive us our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, look upon us, and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, and the power of the Son, and the Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of the very church. Amen. The angel's fiery sword will no longer guard the gate of paradise. For the cross of the Lord has put it out wondrously. The power of death has been broken. The victory of Hades wiped out. And you, my Savior, have stood up and called out to all those found in hell. Come now and turn again into paradise. Lord of mercy, 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 O you who at all times and places are worshipped and glorified, both in heaven and on earth, Christ God, long suffering, generous in mercy, and rich in compassion, loving to the just and merciful to the sinner, O you who call people to repentance through the promise of blessings to come. Deign, O Lord, at this very hour to receive our supplications and to direct our lives in the way of your commandments. Sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, set our minds right, cleanse our thoughts, deliver us from any affliction or have danger in need. Surround us with your holy angels so that, guided and guarded in their camp, we may reach the oneness of the faith and the knowledge of your unutterable glory. O you who are blessed forever and ever, amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption did give birth to God the Word, the very tale shall proceed to magnify. Give the blessing, Father, in the name of the Lord. May God be merciful to us and bless us. Lord, the light of his countenance to shine upon us and have mercy on us. Amen. O oh Lord, the powers and makers of all creation, O oh, you who in your compassion be on understanding. May you send down your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our race, who through his cross canceled the death of our sins and overcame the power of the master of darkness. O oh Lord, the lover of mankind, accept from the sinners and be spread the thanksgiving and petition. And preserve us against any deadly form in the darkness, against every enemy, seen or unseen, already seeking our harm. Pierce our flesh with the fear of you, so that looking upon you at all times, and guided by the light which shines from you, we may behold your unapproachable eternal light, and unceasingly address your eternal Father, and only begotten Son, your Holy Good Life in the Spirit. Always now, I thank you, and worship now and ever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the blessing. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Those of captive and for their safety. 
Lord, have mercy. 
Christian to faithful Christian victory over their enemies and guarding your coming wealth by your cross. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance, granting to faithful Christians victory over their enemies and guarding your commonwealth by your cross. Keep them and carry them forever. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance, granting to faithful Christians victory over their enemies and guarding your commonwealth by your Continue to deliver 
have a high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession. For we have not a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weakness, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. For every high priest chosen from among men is appointed to act on behalf of men in relation to God, to offer gifts and sacrifices for sin. He can deal greatly with the ignorant and wayward, since he himself is beset with weakness. Because of this, he is bound to offer sacrifice for his own sins, as well as for those of the people. And one does not take the honor upon himself, but he is called by God, just as Aaron was. So also Christ did not exalt himself to be made a high priest, but was appointed by him who said to him, Thou art my son, today I have begotten thee. As he says also in another place, Thou art a priest forever, after the order of Melchizedek. We speak to you, Regal, in your spirit. Alleluia. 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 Who will not 
Taste death.
celebrate the third Sunday of Lent, the third Sunday of the Great Fast. And the fathers that composed the Tipicon knew that by the third week the faithful and also the monks would start to feel dispirited, discouraged, anxious, afraid. And this is of course particularly so this Lent, which will be remembered for many, many, many years. And so the fathers that put together the Tipicon instituted that the Paschal Canon be sung this Sunday as we celebrate the veneration of the Holy Cross of our Lord here before us. It was very comforting to me at Matins this morning to hear the Paschal Canon, the Easter Canon. Because today we celebrate, yes, we celebrate the Quran. Not the coronavirus, I hope. Perhaps some proud people do celebrate that misguided people. But of course corona is the Greek word meaning crown. And I suspect the virus under a microscope, particularly in two dimensions, looks like a crown. That's probably where it's got its name, but who knows the minds of scientists. But we celebrate same crown, holy crown today. We celebrate the kinship of Christ. He is the one that wears the crown. Not science, not microscopes, not little viruses. Christ wears the crown. And next to him, the most perfect of human mediators between him and us, our lady, her queenship. She too wears a crown. She shares his crown. That's the corona, the holy crown that we celebrate with joy hope in the resurrection this morning. But we also celebrate the Holy Cross, the scepter which the king vanquishes his enemies. Because you see, the triumph of this king is by the scepter of the cross, is by obedient humility, self sacrificing love. The crown and the scepter go together. If they don't go together, 
then the crown becomes a falsely triumphal crown. It becomes the crown of the kingdoms of this world, not the next. The surety that we are celebrating the kingship of Christ is for us to notice very distinctly not only his crown but his scepter the cross to him crucified monastics Oyster religious have from the beginning sought to shut out the world to be more fervent in their prayer, to have fewer distractions to distract. Unfortunately, as we monks here know, and I'm sure other monastics and cloistered religious, unfortunately that often means that the world shuts us out too, forgets us, forgets our weakness, forgets the importance of what we're on about. Yes, sometimes these documentaries have been made that have gone into cloisters, the Carthusians or some of the monasteries in England, Benedictine monasteries, for nuns and monks. But that's entertainment, that's to pre curiosity. That's like visiting the circus or the museum. This participation today of those who do not belong inside the monastery is different. And I think you will all feel that, don't you? You're not tuning in because of curiosity, because you want to be entertained or even intellectually stimulated. You're here because you believe in some way this is where it's at. This is what it's about. We were very privileged to receive a wonderful letter from our beloved hierarch, Bishop John Michael, by surprise during the week. It came at a time when we needed, we in the community needed this encouragement. A wonderful letter from, my, from our beloved hierarch, which we will eventually post on our website who spoke very clearly of how much he appreciates our presence, our witness, our prayer, our way of life, and pledges his support and his ardent desire that we continue the path that we have begun. So successfully we've made lots of mistakes but it's a miracle and Bishop John Michael's letter implies it. what has begun here. As 
as long as it's, we recognize it, that it's the work of Christ, not ours. And through Christ, if we are humble and receptive to his kingship, his rule, what has begun here and what we are celebrating this morning will spread, will spread more than the coronavirus, will become infectious and contagious. That's the way the coronavirus will be edged out. So please, I mean, we've been through these times before, not as seriously, 9-11. People all of a sudden started going to church. It didn't last. Eventually, back to the normal ways. Let's this be a wake-up call. We don't know what the future has in store. God knows. That's good enough for me. And it should be good enough for you.
especially the servants of God, Thomas, Marianne, Robert, Mr. and Mrs. Dentowski, Felix, Frank, Burke, Anna, Clarence, Laura, Kevin, Andrew, Floyd, Marie, Mary Jean, Lee, Helen, Francis, Lucien, Priest Constantine, for all the departed and scribe in this monastery's tips, that they may be pardoned of all their offenses, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we also pray for those who bring offerings, those who care for the beauty of this holy and venerable house, for those who labor in its service, for those who sing, and for the people here present who await your great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful God, the lover of mankind, and to you do we strive glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen.
Holy Father Francis, Pope of Rome, his beatitude, our Father Archbishop Lucian, our most reverend Bishop John Michael, all the God loving bishops of the Catholic and Holy Transfiguration speak, Holy Trinity Monastery, Holy Transfiguration Monastery, the Sisterhoods of Holy Theophany Monastery, Christ the Bridegroom Monastery, Holy Annunciation Monastery, Emmanuel Monastery, all our monastic associates, living and departed, may the Lord God remember them in his holy and heavenly kingdom, now and ever. Amen. May the Lord God remember in his holy and heavenly kingdom, our president, our civil authorities, all those who guide, serve, and protect us. Now and ever. Amen. And may the Lord God remember all you Orthodox Christians in his holy and heavenly kingdom. Now and ever. And unto the ages of ages. Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. 
and was made man. He was crucified also for us, suffered under Pontius Pilate, and was buried. The third day he rose again, according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead, of whose kingdom there shall be no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, and in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand close, let us stand in awe, let us attend that he may offer the holy oblation in peace. The mercy of peace, the sacrifice of praise. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you and with thy spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is fitting and just to that we adore the Oh. 
in this world and given our saving commandments. Turn to us from the error of idols. Be brought us to the knowledge of you, the true God and Father, having acquired our holy self as a people of his own, a royal priest with a holy altar. And when he cleansed us by water and sanctified us by the Holy Spirit, he gave himself as an exchange for them, by which we were held captive and sold under sin. And when he had descended through the cross into hell, so that he might do all things to himself, he loosed the pangs of death. And when he had risen on the third day, and made a way for all flesh, to the resurrection of the dead, for it was not possible for the altar of God to be mastered by corruption, he became the first fruit of those that sleep, the firstborn of the dead, so that he might have the preeminence in all things. And ascending into heaven, he took his seat at the right hand of the majesty on high, and he will come to reward each according to their works. But he has left behind for us these memorials of his saving passion, which we have set forth according to his command. For when he was about to go forth, he was volunteered and angled, and life is in death, on the night in which he gave himself up for the life of the world, took bread and drew poorly in spotless hands, and when he had shown to you his God and Father, given thanks, blessed, hallowed it, and broken it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Hey, ye, this is my body, which is broken for you. For the remission of sin.
evangel of martyrs confesses Jesus and praises your spirit made perfect in faith. Especially to our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, the mother of God and heir of the Be mindful first of 
our souls, and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. And we spend the rest of our days in peace and repentance, and for a Christian end to our lives, one that is painless, unashamed, and peaceful, and for a good defense before the awesome tribunal of Christ, let us ask. Grant us, O Lord. Having asked for unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole lives unto Christ our God.
Testament and also to anyone watching in. Many people are lonely, are isolated, are anxious, are frightened. We monastics are the most privileged in the church because we are inside the monastery the Holy Liturgy and the Holy Services are offered so we can participate. Most other Christians are not in that privileged position. And so I want to encourage all religious superiors, particularly of monasteries and cloisters and people to assist them to do what we're doing, to live stream what it's really all about in this time of need, isolation, reaching out. It will be the best that we can do for the new evangelization. There's also the strategy that the best thing we can do is share the treasure of the church that we have in monasteries and cloisters with the world that is so desperate, particularly at this time, to receive them. So I want to beg, I want to beg people who are computer savvy to try to get to some of the older people who are the ones that miss it most, that don't know how to work computers. We have some examples in our congregation, although most of our congregation is young. So go out and share the live stream with those who might not have computers or be savvy enough to use them. Let's use this occasion, this feast of the veneration of the Holy Cross to, to spread not the coronavirus but to spread the kingdom of God, the holy crown of Christ, and the Blessed Virgin Mary. So please, let's all make an effort to, at this time, to make us wake up the treasure that we have. That in good times, in times of laziness, comfort, distraction, we forget. On the 25th is the Feast of the Annunciation. Please check our webpage for the times of the services. And most of you can look at them at any time. You're not bound by the time. As long as they're celebrated, they're going to be live streamed. So you can catch on them later. Now, whatever calendar you're on, well, no, that's not true, but those on the revised calendar like ours, revised Julian, and the Gregorian will be celebrating Annunciation together. So make use of the live streaming to celebrate this great feast of our Lady.
us worthy to stand in this holy place. Though we have no good works to offer you, we sacrifice a humble heart and a contrite spirit to you who have no need of anything of ours. We seek forgiveness of sins from your goodness. Give heed to our simple prayer, for you did not turn away from the tax collector who humbled himself before you, but proclaimed him justified. Banish from our hearts, however, the loathsome, boasting, and pompous speech of the self-righteous Pharisees. Instead, grant us the compunction of the tax collector and humility that will draw us to you, for you exalt the humble and humble the exalted. Make us worthy of the happiness of the kingdom of heaven, prepared for the poor in spirit, through the mercies of your Christ, with whom you are blessed, together with your holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and ever, <coughs> and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be the holy name of the Lord, and sword and forever. Blessed be the holy name of the Lord, and sword and forever. Blessed be the holy name of the Lord, and sword and forever. May the blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and loving kindness, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory be to you, Christ our God, our hope. Glory be to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Father, love. May Christ, risen from the dead, our true God, through the prayers of his all holy and spotless mother, patron of this holy church, by the power and protection of the precious holy life-giving cross, whose holy veneration we celebrate today, through the prayers of our holy father among the saints, Gregory the theologian, patron of this village, the prayers of our holy father among the saints, Basil the great archbishop of Caesarea and Cappadocia, whose divine liturgy we celebrate, the prayers of the holy priest Marta Basil of Ancula, whose holy memory we keep, through the prayers of our holy fathers and mothers, through the prayers of the holy and just ancestors of God, Joachim and Anne, and through the prayers of all the saints, may this same Lord Jesus Christ have mercy upon us and save us, for he is gracious and the lover of mankind. Amen.
to go to near divine grace and attain the perfect union with the five emperors, urging your holiness. I am I ever remembering your grace and henceforth live not for myself, but for you, our master and benefactor, and thus from this life is ended in the hope of eternal life. I may attain to everlasting merits for the poor so who is the best of the Muslims, seeking under the light of those who behold the ineffable beauty of your countenance and promise. For you are the true desire and the little joy of all those who love you, Christ our God. And all creation hymns you forever. Amen. O Master Christ God, King of the ages, the maker of all things, I thank you for all the good things you have bestowed upon me, and for this partaking of your might and life giving mystery. Wherefore I pray you who are good and love mankind. Keep me under your protection in the shadow of your wings and grant me the pure conscience giving into my last breath to partake of your holy mystery and the remission of sins into life everlasting to renew the bread of life the fountain of holiness the giver of good things and to you ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit both now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. May your holy body, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, be to you for life eternal and the precious blood for remission of my sins. May the street just speak to you for joy, health, gladness, and for all sins, sex, and coming, making you a sinner, worthy to stand at the right hand of your glory, through the intercession of your Almighty Mother, the Holy Saint, Amen. O oh, Holy Lady, pray our closest light of my dark and soul, my hope, my shepherd, my refuge, my consolation, and my soul. I thank you that you have granted me, worthy of all, worthy to be a partaker of the matchless body and precious blood of your Son, but you who gave birth to the true light and enlightenment of thy guidance in my heart. O you who bore the fountain of immortality and life, and who light here to see, O compassion of Mother, the merciful God, have mercy upon me, and grant me to mercy and to pierce from its power, and meekness of my thoughts, and deliverance from the bondage of my vain imaginings, and account me worthy even to my last breath to receive the precious condemnation, the sanctification of the immaculate conception for the healing of both soul and body, and grant me tears of repentance and confession, that I may renew and glorify you all the days of my life. For bless and glorify you for all ages. Amen. For bless and glorify you to all ages. Amen. For bless and glorify you to all ages. Amen. Now, powerful Master, you give leave to your servant to go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared for all the people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles and to give glory to your people, Israel. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one and merciless. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one and merciless. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one and merciless. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy, and Lord, forgive us our sins, Master, pardon us, and keep us holy one into promise, and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Divine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Your voice is sounded over all the earth and accepted your preaching. You gave a divine explanation of doctrine and made clear the nature of creatures and set a rule of life for men. Holy Father, King, and Creed. Intercede with Christ God to grant us great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You became for the church a solid foundation for all mankind. Strengthened by your teaching, you became a harbor, a refuge, a venerable battle to reveal heaven's mysteries. Both now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O steadfast protectress of Christians, unfailing advocate before the Creator, do not despise the fervent voices of our sinners. And in your goodness, hasten to assist with us who trustfully cry to you. Inspire us to prayer and hasten to prefer our supplications. For you intercede always, Mother of God, on behalf of those who honor you. Kiri lesson, 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 kiri lesson. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, but now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than Sarah, but more glorious than the pair of the serpent, who by corruption and give birth to God, glory to break that book, which is the light of fire. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, give the blessing, Father, in the name of the Lord. Then Christ, our true God, in the prayers of his old woman, his faultless mother, and the prayers of our holy fathers and mothers, and through the prayers of all the saints, May the same Lord Jesus Christ have mercy upon us and save us, for he is gracious and love of mankind. Amen. 